If you make a game after that, it would be called the breadening. <laughs> we, <don't know>. <laughs> we rise. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Hey, everybody. Ian here from the Game Brew Podcast. Uh, Just checking in to remind you that this week we're actually releasing the second half of episode 32. So we will start right at the second half of the show and uh, we're just going to jump right in. So thanks for listening and here we go. All right. Hello and welcome back to the second half of the Game Brew Podcast episode 32. Let's check in with our brew. What we got? How's it looking? How's it tasting? It's loose. Loose. It's I have, loose. I have drank entirely too many of them for a <laughs> Yeah, they. they <laughs> Dan, they Dan, Dan is hard. also like feeling cannon, loose. Like a like a like a thirty two pounder. Yeah, I'm. I am. I am feeling good. Dan, Dan, when you get drunk, what's your personality like? Um, it's kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> Except it likes to text my ex girlfriends. <laughs> oh. oh, that's sad. Chris, do you are you like uh, Chris? Do you, do you strike me as a very chill drunk? Like you just get drunk and just like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of yeah. yeah, yeah. I kind of do my thing, you know. Allison, do you want to add anything to this? You want to describe your drunk self? <laughs> I don't really know. I feel like I'm the same, but apparently I just I, I, I Girl, laugh. you are not the same. You, yeah, you laugh way more. I than laugh you a lot. Do. Um I I think I can fly if it gets bad enough. Um <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just I I'm not reserved, I guess. And that's my normal state, is I'm very reserved and like So like it, it diminishes your inhibitions? Yeah, and apparently my judgment. So there's that. Huh. <laughs> judgment. Like, like it's <coughs> supposed there you to, go, I kid. Guess. Has it gotten to the point that you have a separate name for your drunk self? No, because I usually don't get like that drunk. It, so it's a very rare thing. <laughs> so because some people do apparently. There's like oh, yeah, no. there's like the Ganon version of you being drunk, and then the Ganon Dorf <laughs> it's, version. It's more, is like, much it's more like it's more like the Hyde version. I probably should because, like, I think I can dance and that goes poorly or, you know, makes people laugh at least. Like, th- yeah, there should be another name for that personality. I call myself Chad when I'm drinking. <laughs> but don't we all Because you're Chad way better than drinking. regular you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just want to pound Red Bull vodka and call yourself Chad. Oh, That's my God. Happens. Again, sorry to all our listeners named Chad. <laughs> we really... I'm not sorry. You get out, Chad. <laughs> Poor Chad. Uh, yeah, we'll hate on the Zacks next time. Uh, <laughs> Zach. Do you guys know what happens to me when I get drunk? What? I just get really emotional. Oh. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm, I'm like, I like hurdle back and forth between being incredibly happy and incredibly depressed. <laughs> do, do the high highs make it worth it? Oh, for sure. For sure, for I... sure. Isn't Plus... that the... Isn't that the chicken from Moana? I never saw Moana, but if there's oh, no, a wait, drunk that's, chicken that's, in that. No, but it did, rem- and that's actually voiced that's hey, by, hey. what's his name? Hey, hey. Oh, his voice actor is uh, Steve Alan the Pirate. Tudyk. Yeah. Alan Tudyk. <laughs> Steve, Steve the Pirate. Steve the Pirate. No, I think that's better than mine, which is high highs all the time, because then, like, everything's great, and I I'm, I need to balance when you're, in mine. When you're saying so high highs, better. I'm thinking of the high hide. It's high, and you hide. Anyone lost world? You lost me there. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. We need to move on. (laughs) This is getting punny. All right. So segment two, we're going to talk about Attack of the Clones. So this uh, is inspired by the current debate. Actually, the current lawsuit, I would say, that uh, Blue Hole is uh, suing Epic. So Pubbage essentially is suing Fortnite for copying their game. (coughs) And... uh, whether or not that has any legal standing, we have no idea. Well, we're 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 lawyers, so obviously, <laughs> I got my degree from Dewey Cheatham and Howe. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, but uh, there are also a bunch of other games that have been cloned before, so I feel like Blue Hole is being a little bit precious with this one. 
Well, do you do you know like the details about what they're suing for? I actually don't know. I uh, the, okay. strangely but enough, Allison, I haven't you, done my research. Al- I do. A- Allison, do you know the you because you brought this up in the meeting? Do you know the details? Yeah. Well, um, I mean, they're suing for a couple different things that they they consider that was literally stolen from their game. Um, it, it was one of them was like the. But I mean, the graphics engine is something that the because they're saying something about the graphics, but I don't know. The engine is something that Epic provides for. Yeah, Hades. Epic owns all so, the so, Yeah, so it's so basically the thing that they're suing is they're suing because the game, the Fortnite they're saying is too similar to the mm-hmm. game that they have created. Now right. this is where where it's kind of weird is because. PUBG is using the Unreal Engine 4, which is owned by Epic. What owned by Epic. So Epic, if you recall, do you know a game called Two Human? I do. Do you know that game? Yes, too? this was a like it was like a third person Diablo like where you were Norse gods for some. Yeah, but in and space. Do you know that that. Yeah, and do you know why that company is out of business now? Uh, no. Because they sued Epic for stealing their game stuff, and Epic said, oh, hey, you made that game using Unreal Engine 4. Guess what? We own that, so sorry. Sorry. Give us your money. <laughs> and now their company is gone. That's interesting. Um, yeah. So Epic is, that, is not to be fucked with. Yeah. Right. But also, it's kind of tough, because what PUBG is basically saying is like, hey, we own the Battle Royale game type and anyone who uses it is stealing from us which is hard because technically you can't really copyright ideas which is which is where that kind yeah, of you gets can't into... copyright a genre yeah it's 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 a weird gray area it's why which is why they started like pick, pinpointing like little things in the lawsuit that they felt yeah. were similar enough that they could because they can't see them for own owning battle royale because you can't yeah that's but like... that's just not there, I mean, I feel like League and Dota Two are closer together oh. than this game. Like these I two games, totally agree with you. Well, right, and, but uh, yeah, I, I would like to hear your opinion because you've played the, both extensively. Well, there's there's an issue where the people who play Dota, generally speaking, don't play League, and the people who play League don't play Dota. Um, they're not sharing the same pool of users which I think is the big problem that's happening here with PUBG and Fortnite because um, PUBG lost a lot of their audience um, in theory to Fortnite. So that's where they're upset. Whereas other companies, I I mean, you could look at characters in League of Legends, look at characters in Dota or look at characters in other uh, like MOBAs. They're very similar in their style, the, the abilities they have, things like that, just because you need certain characters in a game that are control. So maybe they're all going to have that snare and it makes sense to have them, you know, do something else that's very similar. Um, But nobody really cares because the Dota players are very serious, hardcore, like MOBA players. The league players are maybe there's a small pool of seriousness, um, but the majority of them are just trolls or twelve. Or, like, there's, <laughs> there's, wow! There's a huge, and like, the I league mean, community honestly, no longer listens to the game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I play. It's it's. I don't play Dota. I play League. But uh, there's there's just there's a different audience for that game going from one to the other. Sure. So they're not fighting for the same person, whereas PUBG and um, and Fortnite are right now. Sure, and like I think regardless of that, like regardless of whether they're fighting for the same community, I feel like as far as games are concerned, Dota Two and League are more closely related to each other than um, Fortnite and PUBG. You're right, but they don't care. Like right. the, the companies don't. Well, that's because Valve doesn't give a shit because Valve makes money doing everything. So <laughs> yeah. it's kind of, and that's and that's kind of where this whole lawsuit is. It's kind of silly when you look at it. the 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 lawsuit is filed in in South Korea, uh, and the and both those companies are owned by the same company in South Korea. So it doesn't really matter. Like the whole thing is just kind of this whole semantic thing, and it's gonna peter out eventually. 
Oh, so this is only affecting the foreign version of it or something like that? Not really. It's because because Epic is based in North Carolina. It's Epic is based in North Carolina, but it, the lawsuit is filed in South Korea. It's it depends entirely upon where, like in South Korea. I think these are not real so. facts. I'm trying to pull them up off the top of my head. So like, there's almost no footing for either of these lawsuits, just because so much right. of it is this like is, intellectual property stuff. And this is this is about the money. This isn't about the actual like copyright issues, in my opinion. It's not necessarily about the fact that. They were upset that Fortnite looks so much like it. It's the fact, like if, if Fortnite came out and failed compared to their numbers, I they feel like care. they wouldn't care. They wouldn't even touch it. They'd let it go. This isn't about like, this is too close to our game. It's about you're taking our players away. Um, and I that's that's the reality here. And that's why this one's so silly to me. It's it like, is really silly. There, there are games that are more similar, you're right. Especially considering that this game is built off another game, which was built off another game. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. Unreal Engine, like... Well, no, the, this, the this that... game, like, PUBG was built off of H1Z1, King Correct. of the Hill, which was built off of Arma 3. <laughs> which which uh, Player Unknown himself has said, he was like, yeah, I got the idea from the Hunger Games series. Right. Which, in turn, which that also, he also said a little bit from, in Minecraft, there was, like, this mod you could do, which was called The Hunger Games, where it would, like, drop you in, and you would have to go find your own stuff. And we should remember that The Hunger Games is also based on a Korean film called Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Battle Royale, which is amazing. It is great. It makes, it it physically disturbs me. One giant (laughs) circle. Right, so like in reality, none of this is an original idea. You yeah, can claim. yeah, it's so. it's the same so thing. Suck it. Right, it's the same thing with with music, where like one idea leads to another idea, leads to another idea, leads to another idea. It's it's very. Unless you're Hans Zimmer thing. doing the soundtrack for Gladiator, in, in which so is literally the same. Mars. <laughs> <laughs> in my opinion, they're not even hoping to win this lawsuit. They're hoping to drag it out. They're hoping to cost them money for this legal battle. And they're hoping to hurt them in that way. And to, I really to be, think to that'll be, be the a, end of it. a publicity thing. I, oh, I yeah, think that sure. really But I think it's negative. For a public. It's bad I for really, them, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really bad for them. So I think if they were going for publicity, this is not not the way to do it. Not a smart move. I also just, they're going to lose a lot of people. Yeah, like if they were doing this from a position of power, it might be different. But <clears throat> I also feel like Fortnite and Epic have just essentially out designed the platform past where PUBG is at like I, I'm not I, I don't think it's I don't really... that I think they've just out supported it mm. I think this the epic epic support for Fortnite is just superior to what Blue Hole can provide yeah and I, I really think that PUBG is going to need to elevate its game if it's going to keep up or it'll die I don't know PUBG still has a really dedicated following of people though like it's not it's it kind of like H1Z1, um, King of the Kill. There's still a there's a huge amount of people that still play that game. Like the only reason that we're not talking about it right now is because it's been around for a long time. So it's just kind of it's there, and we know that it's there, and we just kind of let it kind of like Team Team Fortress Two. No one really talks about it, but everybody knows that there it's there, and everybody still plays it. I don't think everybody still plays Team Fortress Two. Well, a lot of people still play Team Fortress 2. Well, I mean, those people, a lot of them went to Overwatch because that's kind of a copycat with better support and more more development. Um, there have been other notable copycats in gaming history. One of my favorites. It's not a word. And like, I, I didn't play a ton of it. I probably played through half of it was Dante's Inferno. I love Dante's Inferno. You loved it? I don't I've know if never, I, I loved it. I've never even heard of this game. Oh my god! I liked it. It yeah, had a it. massive marketing campaign. It did, and you know what? I think. Wait, that wait, wait, wait! What was it? A clone of, of? God of War? Really? It, uh, no, yes. I, honestly, I think that it was I God. It was straight God, up God of War, dude. So okay, here's what Dante's Inferno. I think was more Devil May Cry than it was Don, was God of War, because 
it had a similar combat mechanic, which was about building your combos as opposed to just demolishing stuff. And I really liked Dante's Inferno. Number one, I thought that the plot was really good. Like, it took the source material from the Dante's Inferno stuff. It took the Crusader background stuff and made it really... Video game Even though it was... Yeah, video game. <laughs> it made it, like, more accessible for people. But also, like, the combat was really visceral and just so good. Like, it was well-maintained, which was really nice. Especially because at the time, God of War was kind of going into the God of War 2 era, and it was a little bit... Did you play those? Repetitive. Which ones? The, the original, like... God of War 1, 2, 3. Yes. Yeah, I didn't play 3, but I played God of War and God of War 2. So why were these, why was Dante's Inferno more like God of War for you, Chris? For me, it was just like a lot of, a lot of the um, quick time events kind of thing. It was the similar combat for me and like a similar, it, like, it felt like God of War for Xbox 360. I gotta say, it looks a lot like God of War. And the source material, it has a Greek vibe. Like, it, it, it was God of War in a new skin to me. It wouldn't. It's not really Greek. It's so much as it was Italian. Like classical okay. Christianity. Yeah. What's interesting about it to me is that it actually looks incredible for a game from 2010. Like it looks really oh, yeah. good. It was gorgeous. Like the it was stuff very that was. Pretty. That's why I played it. It wasn't. It wasn't a cheap knockoff, but it was a knockoff. <laughs> it was a good. Is what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it it was. Done. So it's, it was better done. Does that, it was not does that better make it a than knock, God of War, a knockoff? Yeah, it still makes uh, it a knockoff. I don't think it was I mean, better than God of War, dude. Played. I don't think it was better than God of War. I think that it made it that compared to God of War 2, it had more advances that it did in the combat mechanics and stuff like that. Um, even though I know God of War 2 it incorporated the uh, the like switchable God of War 2 um, came out three years before it. Yeah, it did. So it, it had some <laughs> what, time. What do you like? Definitely. So like, it was out on PS2, whereas Dante's Inferno was out on Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. So like, they were they were different eras. When did God of War three come out? That was on that was on PS3. Okay, so that came out a little bit later, also. So God of War three came out on 2010. So it was the same year. Okay. Let's see what God of War three looks like. I'm I'm honestly incredibly impressed by this. No, I mean, and like I enjoyed Dante's Inferno. It just like it just seemed like a blatant copycat to me. Allison, were you trying to make a point about like what makes a ripoff and what makes like a, a good one or a bad one? Like you're trying to jump in there. I'm not sure we gave your point enough justice. No, no, it's fine. I was just I was kind of curious because it's like um, I think it's important to like differentiate like what what makes something a copycat. Is it that it just rode the coattails of something that was popular right at that moment, and that's enough? Or what? It, what? It, like game mechanics, or uh, it had similar I, mechanics, I similar ambiance. It had similar. Well, but that's. But then we're getting into the whole like, what is what is ripping off another game, and what is just being in the same genre. Because you could say Dante's Inferno isn't necessarily ripping off another game as much as being in this whole action brawler type genre where like that is uh, or the Twitch brawler, I guess, genre, which was God of War, uh, Devil May Cry, uh, Dante's Inferno. Um, there's I, I guarantee there's been more. I mean, um, Metal Gear Rising was in the kind of similar genre. Yep. Similar, but, where it has but like I felt a, that was much more different than Dante's Inferno was. Okay, so what about like, like in the thing you have the uh, like, there's the Legend of Zelda versus the Dark Siders stuff. So is that is Dark Siders a ripoff of Legend of Zelda, or is it kind in of the same? Yeah, I, I would say, but I I I felt like Dark Siders did a better job because it was involving different things. So it was much more combat oriented, but it had a lot of the the dungeon mechanics and and puzzle solving that mm-hmm. Zelda Legend of Zelda is famous for. So I thought that it brought a little bit like it brought some of that God of War style combat to Legend of mm-hmm. Zelda. And so I, I feel like okay. that is not as much of a copycat as more of like a a combination of two things and, and to make it something that's more interesting. So it's still but it's an action platformer is what you would call it. Like it would be in that with genre RPG stuff. elements. Because yeah, I was I was thinking about um uh, Metal Gear Solid and Siphon Filter. I was thinking about like they both oh, came out snap. 
pretty similarly time wise, and they were both like stealth action games. Mm-hmm. Um, but like the the plots were were different, so it's not like it was necessarily maybe a copycat like I thought it was at first. Then it was more just kind of riding that that genre coattail of hey, this was good, let's make something similar. Yeah, what I what I think about is is interesting about the Metal Gear and Siphon Filter comparison is that they really tried to make it look like a copycat. Like I feel like when you look at the marketing for Siphon Filter and and Metal Gear, you're like, okay, this could basically be the same. Like they both it's like <laughs> military spy mercenary dude who is stealthy and also there's kind of like this very green uh like i don't know there's something with the green where they kind of like both use that as like a cool tech color and like yeah <laughs> but once you get into the game you realize that siphon filter is really like an action shooter right. game it's more like the first part of the Die Hard trilogy uh series yeah. and metal gear solid is much more like sneaky weird stealth slash anime game right right I, they might have just tried to rope people in with similar like marketing techniques like hey if you like this you're gonna like this because exactly. it looks the same right yeah. it's exactly the same but then it, <laughs> Come get this. it ends up being different um yeah ha- have any of you played both infamous and uh the game prototype i only played prototype I only played one i i mean i could argue for um prototype that it was a solid game but i i heard a lot of talk that it was basically infamous and like i I think infamous was better received than than prototype that being said prototype was very good yeah they looked really similar so i only bothered playing infamous i guess because it was good and it did infamous had two sequels right there was infamous infamous 2 and infamous second son right and second son came out for ps4 correct i think so and then i don't remember there was Prototype and Prototype 2. Correct. I only played the first one. Because the first one was like you're a guy who's experimented on, and the second one was you're a military type person who was experimented, was experimented on. on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Allison, did you ever cheat on WoW with a WoW clone? No. No? You, you ever played Spodor? Baseball? Yeah, no, I didn't. You didn't play like EverQuest or anything like that? Well, that was, I, I mean, was pretty well, wild. Well, well, let me be clear. Okay, I've I've cheated on WoW my whole life. But <laughs> I've never. I know. Don't tell I'm, guys. Don't let I, WoW listen to this. Oh my I god, have it's polyamory. Played, okay. I've played every single MMO out there except Black Desert Online because just no. Um, why? That, why that no? I'm curious. Across. I, just it's, no. it looks so cheesy. It looks like it's just grabbing people to look at like big anime girl boobs and i i have visual novels for that so i'm fine guys there's there's a, a large market for that right that's what i'm saying like that's all that game was to me um but i like i've even played some some korean um i played some like korean mmos i've like i've jumped on all of them i can find and None of them do everything, in my opinion, as well as WoW does. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have not found anything that is as good, although they may have tried. The The only thing that I could say that's the other MMO, I've played two main other MMOs besides WoW, and that was um, Star Wars The Old Star Republic, yep. which was that. straight up WoW, but Star Wars. With Star Wars. But with no end game. I had so. no end game. Um, so, yeah, and then Guild Wars Two, which was only end game, like it was only it right. was only PvP. It was only PvP. That was all, and it was, was fantastic PvP. Right, but they've all done like bits and pieces of WoW, but they've not all got. The but whole the, and that's the whole thing about WoW has been around so long that it's hard to be better at WoW at the things that it does because they've they've done it for ten, fifteen years now, I think. It's like a hail to the king kind of. Nobody has the money for the support that that Blizzard, Blizzard has. has. Yeah, that's, that's one the of the big... biggest things. The content rollouts rollouts are you know weekly, weekly. Um, they have big massive uh, updates, and then on top of that, they have expansion packs that come out you know every couple of years. Like there's you can't you can't there's beat it. nothing that touches you can't it. Beat it. So nothing is a clone to me. The only thing so the only thing that's, that's like Swodor was a straight up clone for me. And I enjoyed it because lightsabers, yeah. but lightsabers. I mean, it, it held my attention for six months because lightsabers, basically. 
<laughs> yeah, but that, I mean, that's all it was. It was just questing. Like there was, there was nice story, but like I felt like I was just playing a story game. And the, not and the PvP was all right. They had a really good. Um, it was like it was like some sort of football game. I can't remember what it was called exactly, but it was fun. Allison, yeah, but it, it, ooh, sorry. it wasn't wow to me. Do you, no, you're good. Do you think? Uh, do you think that WoW will maintain mm-hmm. a significant uh, subscription and user base through 2024 when it'll be 20 years old? Uh, no. Hmm. So I think I think if Blizzard's smart, that is when they will go WoW two in 2024. Um, what would WoW two look yeah. like? Like like at 20 years? Wh- why not? Wow, because but better graphics. Wow. Better. <laughs> yeah, like the the the, the only it issue. It right in your brain holes. <laughs> The, the literal only issue with WoW at this point is the core game that it is built on can only graphically do so much. Um, and we're at that point and they've, they've put, you know, shiny blurs on all the corners as much as they really can. Uh, so you think it's the end? Yeah. It's definitely the end. I think the they need. Yeah, they need to start from the ground up with a WoW 2, and I think that would be a great point to do it because we're getting to the point at that level where um, the level will be ridiculous, the experience will be ridiculous. They've already like squished it and buffed you so you ex- get experience faster at slower at lower levels to make up for it. At that point, they need to start over. So I think if they're smart, and I'm sure they, they like money, they'll start <laughs> over at that point with WoW 2. I think I think I want to ask the penultimate question. Okay. Which is better? Crazy Taxi or Simpsons Road Rage? <laughs> Simpsons Road Rage. Simpsons Road Rage. No. no. I'm I don't a like crazy the Simpsons. Taxi person. What what I'm cra- sorry. what but, but, what crazy taxi person? What makes you say that? What what could be better than having Homer drive your car and make snide comments about the way you're driving? Maybe uh, it might be the I, fact that I have honestly only watched like three episodes of The Simpsons ever. I don't like The, the Simpsons. Yeah. What? What? I know. Yeah, That's a I, weird I fact like about it. Dan Rotz that you made. That you is a really strange take to the do bank. You like is that? Like Family Guy? I do. Now let me also, ask you a okay. deeper question. So, do you so, like wait, wait, wait. funny? Do you, well, well, you okay, like so Family Guy, but you don't like The when Simpsons? I was, when I was a kid, my parents would not let me watch The Simpsons, like, at all. So it's the forbidden and, like, fruit. It just, But even then, it's like it just carried over. I'm just like, I have no interest in any Simpsons-related stuff, at like, ever. Not even now. The, the movie, I watched The Simpsons movie, and I was like, meh, this was okay at best i mean the simpsons movie was really not great but the show is so it was, good it was fine it was fine i'm i'm spider pig meh meh that's I mean, whatever a spider pig that, does i was like meh my, my brother and i we played a lot of crazy taxi like we rented it a bunch but of like, times and like... finally finally bought it and then he got the simpsons um red rage version because he liked the simpsons but i didn't so I played that too, and I just felt like it was uninteresting, and probably because I don't like the characters. So, so, so what made Crazy Taxi interesting, whereas Simpsons it Road felt Rage... better? Like it like handled the better. Felt, yeah, the driving I mean, felt better. That's probably I fair. Think... The handling in in Road Rage was fairly it was all over the rudimentary, place. Uh, but it was fun as fuck. Sorry, go down. I I also th- I also think that the uh, sorry sorry to jump it, but I also think that the like arcadey aspect of it kind of made me like it a little bit more where it is you are very limited to like your time constraints and whatnot Mm -hmm. there you go answered Uh, okay (laughs) dan Dan did you have an ultimate question my ultimate question is uh we haven't will's not here this week right will's correct will Will, are you here are you hiding him? <laughs> is this I, I don't think out from under the chair? If he popped out of a box, that would be hilarious. I just haven't heard from him, and I haven't heard from the mandatory fund commissioner in a while. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm a little worried. Um, I basically what's... yeah. Have you called? I'm worried them? about the mandatory fund commissioner. Uh, I mean, on. let me. Do you mind if I call the mandatory fund? Yeah, commissioner maybe give him a call. Right. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on one sec. Wait, hold on. I've got a text message. It says, "Come to your." front door 
Oh God! All right, hold hold on one second. I, I got it. It's been a while. He's probably gonna he's murder okay. him for not liking The Simpsons. Probably. <laughs> Seems like mandatory fun is something that the Simpsons would be on board with here, right? Absolutely. Oh, you're such a cute little kitty. Everything's so adorable whenever you're around with your little kitty butt. Who gets everybody? Commissioner! Guys, guys, hello! Guys, I, couldn't, I couldn't stop him. I'm so sorry. Hello! <laughs> it's been so Daniel. long. I've, We're so glad you're it's, back. It's, oh my I've gosh, it feels you. like it's been weeks since he's been here. Everything's a little crazy. Oh my goodness. I was waiting outside for like a half an hour. Daniel just would not check his phone. I'm sorry, man, but you you know I only check that thing for Bumble and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's okay. I'll forgive you this time. Just don't leave me out there again. <laughs> so how are you? Oh, Allison, it is good to see you. How's you? How are you? I mean, you haven't responded to my text, so... <laughs> I've, been of, I've been out of cell service. I'm so sorry. I don't it's mean okay. to it's ignore fine. you. And Christopher, okay. Christopher, I'm so sorry. I heard that you, you've you been dehoused or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dehoused. De- de- yeah, it's, it's like de-lousing. De- 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 de-loused. From you. <laughs> yes. Yes, I have. Yes. It, I I appreciate your concern, Mister. Oh, it, Mr. I wasn't concerned. I was just a general question. Oh. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Ian, you 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 just look just as glorious as ever. Oh, thank you, yeah, sir. Glowing. Are you pregnant? I. You know what? <laughs> Got a little bun in the oven. I don't know how to say what kind, but <laughs> it's wheat. I'm 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 <laughs> it's guessing it's a cinnabon of some kind. It is. It's a cinnabon. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Well. Um. Well, I didn't want to. I did not want to come here without having something for you. So I do have a little game. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Is, is that okay? Yes. Do we have to? Uh, it is. You don't have a choice. <laughs> I don't know why I asked you because it is mandatory. So I mean, everybody has to do that. Um. No, this is actually a group game for you. It's something for the three of you to play against me. Um. Daniel cannot help. I just realized you. that this is like Mario Party. So, so like previously <laughs> it was like a free for all, and now this is like <laughs> four versus one. Yes. 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 Now you are all blue and I am red. <laughs> and Daniel doesn't get to participate. Oh man, how come I don't get to play? You do not Shut get up, to play, Dan. Daniel. You just take it. You just sit there and you it's wait mandatory. for me to be done. I'm sorry, he just gets so rambunctious sometimes. That Daniel is the worst. Okay. He really is. He is. He's so bad. But I like anyway, it when, when when you're firm with you know that's good. <laughs> when you're f- <laughs> <laughs> no matter how I was gonna say it, it was gonna sound awful. I tried to fix matter. it. <laughs> I like it, Allison. It's fine. Um, so uh, just this is a game. I I like to call it. Uh, is that a thing? So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you these are. I have the names of some games. And we have to say if that's a thing. And you have to oh. tell me whether or not that is a real game. Or if it's some shit I just thought of I just like in my stupid game. little head. It's a fun <laughs> game. Okay. So all you're going to get is the title. Now you can confer amongst yourselves whether or not this so, is a title. So you we have to use the int- decide if it's a thing communally. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. As a group, you okay. have to say whether or not it is a game. You cannot use the internet, so get your hands away from those keyboards. I can hear you typing. Can we, can we ask you a question? Uh, ask you questions at all? You can. I will just sit here silently and judge you. But <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So, so uh, like, for instance, I will just give you the name. This is just an example. So I'll give you the name Super Mario 64. That's the this thing. This is the thing. Yeah. So this is easy. To... We can confirm that Super <laughs> Mario 64 is a game. And I will say, you know, here's the sound. And that is the sound for right now. And then if it... <laughs> However, if I were to say, um, um, hey, look, this glass cup in my hand, 32. <laughs> that is not a thing. That's not a game. That's not a thing. So you hear this sound, and that means that that is not the right answer. That's so basically, yes, it is wrong. Okay. Okay. Are you, are you ready? Ready. Okay. So here we go. Game number one is Clay Fighter 63 and a third. Okay. Can, can, can confirm can Clay right? Fighter. Clay Fighter. Wait, original Clay Fighter was for SNES. Someone back me up here. Oh. Ian, you're on your own. Chris? Mm-hmm. I 
Got nothing for you. So, I, I, I Clay Fighter that... 63 and a third. I want to say that Clay Fighter. What kind Fighter of game is... is Clay Fighter? Clay Fighter is a. Is it extremely in... ironic? Like, is it's it a like... tongue in cheek. Yeah. Like, more So, like, Nick had done 33 and a third? Yeah. It, oh, it, well, it, it could It could actually be real. I'm going to go with I, real. I trust then. your judgment. I'm going to go with real. Just because it's so ridiculous, I'm going to go with real. Okay. We're doing. Yeah. Dan, yes. This is a thing. This is a thing. I don't know why Daniel would want to know the answer to this question, mm-hmm. but I'll answer for him. And here is the correct sound. Yay! That is what it is real. Hey, yes, that's job. the thing. It, it was on N64? Nint- yeah, Nintendo 64. It was making fun of all the other games that were like Super Mario 64 oh, and yes, yes. Uh, the games that were like, oh, it's Castlevania 64. Ooh, look at the was number. Ooh, Castlevania yeah. 64. Oh, so fancy. Okay. All right. Here is the next one. Are you Ready. Ready. Ant simulator. Oh, yeah, totally a thing. That's that's real. Yeah, yeah that's real. it was like sure a, that's a thing. it was like one, a like a simcopter. Who are the people who did that? Made those games. Uh, um, Firaxis. It was a Firaxis game back in the day. How how? Well, are, are, you, are you gonna are you gonna be particular about like sim simu- or ant Maxis. simulator two thousand? Oh, fun commissioner, sir. You're gonna be quiet and not answer. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to ask me a question. I don't. know. <laughs> <laughs> I say yes. No, answer yes. Simulator. Yes. 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 Simulator. yes. It was real. This is a game. But is that the Oh, I'm so know. sorry. You are wrong. It is not a real game. Um, Ant was spelled A U N T. Ant Simulator. <laughs> there are no games like that. <laughs> 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 Of a person, or not a mother, the sister of a person who. Has <laughs> oh, that is not I'm fun, so sir. That. <laughs> that is not cruel. fun. That is cruel. Sorry, so that's so that's one wrong for you. Okay. Can we can we <laughs> ask if Ant Simulator is a game but without the U? I don't think there is actually an Ant Simulator. Yes, there, there is. is. Like a, uh, oh wait, you know what? Yes, there is. There is actually an Ant Simulator. It's where you. It was great. Like, I played it. Yeah, you you like can see a hill of ants and like give it food or like use ant spray on it. If you're very vindictive, it's pretty di- disturbing. But, but anyway, I mean that's irrelevant to to your aunt. Doesn't matter because it's spelled differently. All right, <laughs> question number three. It was three. called Sim Ant. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's a different well, game. Yeah, there's different. Here we go. Question number three. The game is called No Bi- No Day But Tomorrow. <sighs> I I I'm lost now. I don't know anymore. No day but tomorrow. Does this title make sense? It makes sense. I mean, sense. what? No, it doesn't. In a Groundhog Day, in a Groundhog Day kind of situation. I'm reading way too far into this. <laughs> oh, wow. If the game is about the exact same day over and over yeah. again, No Day But Tomorrow yeah. is actually a really great title now that I think about it. Right. But I don't know if it's a real game. I, I have no idea. Chris? You don't know? Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing, man. I think I think we go with a no on this one then, right? I think we go with no. I think we go with no. We go. With Commissioner, no. our answer is no. That is correct. It is not a real yeah! game. That is just, there would there would definitely be more days after tomorrow. There's like another <laughs> day and then another day until I told you it was Don't be ridiculous. I mean, yeah, that's just crazy. All right, here we go. Question number four. No day but tomorrow. That's a great <laughs> title, though. <laughs> I know. It should be a game. Let's do it, guys. Either that or a song from a musical about AIDS. All right, here <laughs> oh we go. Oh, my God. Number four. Question. The game is called Ghost Hunter. Ghost Hunter. Is a t- it is a TV show. And I feel like any gaming company would have the good sense... To not put itself in a place where it can be litigated against. Unless they made a well, Ghost right, Hunter video but... game. Well, I mean, the ghost... Like, what, what, what are you thinking of? Not Ghost Hunters. But, like, there's so many indie people out there that there's gotta be a game called Ghost Hunter. No. I don't... I, so, <laughs> I disagree. I think this is a Rule 34 thing. If you can think of it, it exists. This, like, Ghost Hunter, that's too generic. There's a game. There is a game out there called Ghost Hunter. I guarantee it. All right. I, All right. It's well, a, we're it's, going it's, it's, like, even if it's just a flash game, I believe it. If it's a flash game, it's out there. Like the Ghost Hunter is too generic to not be a game. All right. Uh, Chris has convinced All me. All right. Chris is going to call this <laughs> one, Commissioner. That's a real thing. All right. So the answer is that. 
Are you saying yes? There is a game. Yes, like there is a game called Ghost Hunter. Then you would be correct because there is. Oh! <laughs> oh! Hey, well done, well done, Chris. It's from 2003. It's a third-person shooter action video game for PlayStation 2. <laughs> oh my god! It is. Of you play as Lazarus who accidentally. Lazarus, accidentally you're sets, playing as Lazarus. He, yes, he sets thousands of ghosts free and has to put them back. That sounds like a definite time. Was it? Was it a clone of of <laughs> Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, not everything is a clone of Luigi's Mansion, okay? All right, question number five. The video game is called Hydrophobia. Discuss. This Hydrophobia. I'm going to go straight up no. Right? I think that's a movie. I know there's okay. Hydro Thunder. I don't. A game. I don't um, no? I'm going to go no. I think we're going to go no. I don't think we think uh, hydrophobia is I, good I'm enough. not 100% behind that just because it's another generic what? game name. Are you serious? But because there was such a generic game name last time and he's playing games, I'll, I'll go with yes. I believe it's I believe it's not a real thing. You have to have a consensus. Our, I can't our take cons- split answers. Our consensus is that hydrophobia is not a thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here's the sound. Oh. But you do not get that one right. Hydrophobia is a real oh. game. You're stuck on a giant boat, and you're afraid of water and terrorists. So <laughs> there's two things that are terrifying in that game. Um, so that's a negative. Okay. It's on Steam so, for five dollars. Oh God. It is. No, this oh, is. No, wait. So this sorry. is Hydrophobia Prophecy. They made more. It was so good they made wait, more. Wait, 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 we wait, don't know about wait. it. Is there a Hydrophobia original before Prophecy? I believe so, yes. I, I looked these up on the internet. You know, I really hope so for your sake. I hope you wouldn't be a liar. <laughs> Listen, I do not lie. Also, I do minimal research before we actually <laughs> so, <laughs> so do not put too much on me. All right. It's so, mandatory <laughs> fun, not mandatory facts. We're it's fine. true. She's right. All right. So... Um, question number six, or game number six. Vulgus. Vulgus. How do you spell that? Uh, V-U-L-G-U-S. Good work. See, you asked me for the spelling. <laughs> we probably should have done that <laughs> I, from the start. I think this sounds too much what like platform is to it be for? a game. <laughs> well, you can't... Oh, I'm sorry, Chris, did you ask me a question? Because I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> V-O-L-G-A-S. No, V U L G U S. Neither of those vowels were the ones that I V U L G U S. Vul. Vulgus. Okay, so here's, here's my theory. He has he has the spelling. <laughs> so it must be. Real. He didn't have to make it up, that's true. He didn't ha- oh, unless he did make unless it up. Unless he made but it up. I, I, you're right, because he had to type it. No, I'm I'm gonna say it's real. The mandatory fun commissioner can't type. He doesn't know how to type. Who's- yes I do. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking rude! I can still I can use my fingers. <laughs> Do you think they don't teach people how to spell and type in Australia? Um, Australia? Australia? Yeah. It's too dangerous. Uh, they just only teach them. <laughs> only giant like, bugs, they only but teach them life skills. <laughs> it's just like I'm gonna go with it's yes. Jumanji in real life. You think it's real? I think it's real. I don't know. I, that's what I'm going with. I'm literally going on impulse. At I'm this really point. sad that I don't know any of these things. Like on the real. Well, the only one I, I thought I knew, I didn't know. So, <laughs> which was Ant Simulator. So I, I am going on impulse. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. We're gonna go no then. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I said yes. Oh, it does. Okay. No. I no. Said yes. No. You think no? No. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said we're gonna go with no. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I said yes. We're going with no. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. I'm overruled. It's no, no. Okay, wait, wait. I'll so take. is it a? G- this is confusing for me. Too. Is it a game or is it not a game? <laughs> we Honestly, I just wanted to be confused. I have so tentatively I have no idea. concluded that it is in fact a game. You are correct. Yes. <laughs> it is a game. Vulgus is actually that was. Uh, it's a vertical ship shooter, and it was Comcast, Com- Capcom's. First game, actually. A vertical? So oh, oh, like a, a scroller. It Comcast first game. <laughs> <laughs> Comcast first game would be like you get one life Just and then you have to pay $5 time. every How time. to not get a middle finger. All right. All right. Here is your next one. Are you ready? Yes. So question number eight. 
The game is called The Returned. The... Oh, that sounds. Is familiar. there a hyphen after the returned? Is there a sub? Sub. I would tell you if there was there was subtitle. It is just called The Returned. Um, it sounds really familiar, but I don't want to bet on that. I mean, you were. Does anyone have a? You were right on the big enough thing. that there's got to be a game called The The Returned, like a zombie game, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's the vibe I got, but it's vague enough. But it's just like triggering a memory. It's not even necessarily a game for me. I don't know, guys. What do you think, Chris? I mean, I think that there's, <laughs> I I'm a person that thinks if you try hard enough, there's a video game named something. It's like it's it's like other things you find on the internet. If you can think of it, it's there. So we have two no's and a yes. Do we go no? All right, let's do it. All right, so you say it is not a game? It is not yes, a game. Yes, sir. Not and a game. here's the correct answer sound. Yes! Because that is correct. <laughs> However, if you did want to watch an OK TV show from 2015 on A&E, <laughs> that would be what the, the name of it was. Ah, I knew it was a thing. I know that's why you remembered it, because you love those A&E shows. All right. Question number nine. Here's, the game title is called... Thresher Reaper Edition. God, I would play that though. <laughs> uh, it sounds like something that everyone with a gamer tag that's like death becomes me. That sounds like what I would play, what I play, play in Diablo Three. Thresher this... <laughs> Reaper Edition. <laughs> I, I, okay, I think this has to be a game, and here's why. I hope it's a silly farming simulator. That's what I'm thinking. It's like <laughs> threshing and reaping are similar. But like similar, you're killing the plants. Are similar things where you're basically like <laughs> well, harvesting <laughs> plants. If, if you take not, them out of like their metal not, interpretation. If it's not, I want it to be. If it's not, and it's not like a tractor that plays literal metal music <laughs> as you reap through, and as you as you kill crops, the little ghosts pop, fly up like and sing along with the song. God, I, I hope this upset. is a game. Right. So if it's if it's <laughs> okay. not a game, we will just buy the rights to that name and, and, yeah. and make it. Yeah. Yeah, we have to. Okay, we're in. We're we're all in. We're all in. Yes, it's, a game. it's a game. We're ready. So you're saying it is a oh, game? Oh, it's a game. I'm yes. going to buy it. It's definitely a game. I'm so sorry, but it is not a game. Well, oh, we're, we're going to be a game. Let's, let's, it is let's now. <laughs> we're going to copyright this shit. Thresher Reaper Edition. It's fucking the Game Brew's first game. <laughs> if you make a game after that, it would be called The Breadening. Because, you know, wheat. We rise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh god. All right, question number 10 or game number 10. The game is titled RD Lightfoot. RT? Like RD A R D Y Lightfoot. Like Arby's. L I G H T. Uh, Arby's. Like Arby's. You might die. Like Arby's heavy foot, but RD Lightfoot. Arby, this is too it's too clunky to be a made up game by the commissioner like thresher <laughs> the reaper edition sounds slick i'm so already i'm i'm ready to play that game already lightfoot yeah. sounds like hot garbage which means it's probably a real <laughs> video game <laughs> yeah i i think it's probably real chris do you want to weigh in here i'm i'm looking up how i can make this game <laughs> 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 Commissioner, Lightfoot is a real game. That is correct. It's from 1994, <laughs> and it's a mascot platformer. Of so course. Uh, that feels right. Already Lightfoot, the mascot Good platformer. Job. All right. So here we go. Number Question number 11. I have 12 questions. Different games. This game Two goes more. on forever. <laughs> here we go. Chris, this, this, this is why we can't have nice things. I'm, I'm, so, already, okay. I'm already on trying to make this game. It's, I'm sorry. It's like already <laughs> Lightfoot. Probably short, right. but it's still too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Game number 11, The Last of the Windmakers. Nope. No. no, I don't buy that. It's too, no. it's too close to things that are out there. It's like The Last of the Mohicans meets Wind, Wind Waker. I vote no, but you guys can vote. Yeah, not a game. Not a game. Chris? Sure. Commissioner? 
not a game. That is correct. That's some bullshit that Dan made up. Right? <laughs> Dan, was, wait, 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 wait. wait. You... How did how did you get what Dan had? <laughs> Don't ask that question. That's that's a bad question. To ask. <laughs> how did you um, get what Dan? Had? What, yeah, yeah. Seriously, Dan, what is this? A game about farting? The Last of the Windmakers? <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, man, you asked me for one question. I got I got you one. Is that okay? <laughs> is that fine? Clearly not. <sighs> Jeez, he's he's such a slacker. I don't know how you are with him all the time. I, you know, right, I don't we either. We drink a lot. He, apparently, he does. True, there's so many empty beer bottles here. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, uh, we've got one more question. This is the last game. Let's see how you do after this. Are you ready? All right. The game is called 2020 Super Baseball. Oh, that's. That sounds like something that exists in yes, Japan. And was like on, no, was poorly. on no, the 64. No, no, that's a game that was in Japan that was poorly no. translated. Super Baseball is like out now. Super Baseball is a thing. I don't know if it's 2020 Super Baseball or if it's Super Baseball 2020, but there is such a thing as Super Baseball. It sounds real. It sounds like wonky and probably like goofy graphics yeah, i'm guessing yeah. yeah it's silly yeah that's what i figured so i bet it's real commissioner can you confirm that 2020 comes before the super the only thing i can answer is that the name i know is called 2020 super baseball <laughs> <laughs> i think i think we're, i think we're good with yes right right we're good with yes yeah yeah commissioner this is a game and that is correct. It is the game. Here's the sound. Yes. And it is. It's a tw- it is a uh, futuristic baseball simulator. Uh, whatever that means. <laughs> we'll see in two years, apparently. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> so congratulations. You did it. Yay. And for if, if you were counting, so there were 12 different games, and you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them, right? Good job. Yeah. Uh, that's passing. Pass- you passed the test of what things are real and what things are just random bullshit, I think. Of <laughs> Wait, I thought Dan thought of them. Well, he thought of one. He thought of one. But we, we uh, thought we it saw was, through it was Dan. Pretty it was the bad the one. Commissioner, yeah. okay. The commissioner fooled us a few times. Yes, so anyway, it sounds like Samson is meowing, so I'm going to have to go and uh, play with him a little bit because I love these cats that the <laughs> Rosses have here. It's, they're so cute. Well, we so appreciate you stopping by, Commissioner. Yes, oh, glad I, to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. Uh, tell William I say hello if you see him. I haven't heard from I him. I thought he was with you. I thought he was with me too, but apparently he wasn't. So <laughs> don't don't ask how that makes sense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you lose him? Do we need to do we need to find him? Well, apparently we do. Oh, guys, we need to gone. go on sorry, a, a, like a taken know. style he's, adventure he's, to find him. He's playing Will. with Samson right now. I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's kitty time. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that is it for our show this week. Thank you so much for checking in with us here at the Game Group Podcast. Uh, again, if you wish to donate to uh, Ellicott City or the Howard County uh, relief effort for the flooding, we'll put a couple links down in our show notes. So please check those out. Click and donate. Help those people in those shops uh, get their stuff back together. And thank you for listening. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Hello, everybody out there in Game Brew land. Just a quick reminder that we love to hear from you here at the Game Brew Podcast. If you like something we say, let us know. Think we're idiots? Totally let us know. Just want to tell us about a great game that you're playing? Also let us know. You can always hit us up on Facebook, on Instagram, or on Twitter. It's a great way to get a hold of us. Or, if you're feeling really passionate, you could go leave us a review on iTunes or on Google Play. I know it seems like a small thing, but it actually helps us out a lot. So, thanks for listening. Let us know your thoughts, and we'll see you in a week. <laughs>